Hi, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall learn one of the important concept in physics that is given in the syllabus of GPSTR exam 2022 that is power of lens. Before moving to the video, if you are new to the channel, do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of all the videos we upload here, mainly of maths and science concepts which will be useful for GPSTR exam, central TET and TET exams also. We shall move to the concept now, it is a small concept only. So in general, there will be multiple choice questions from this part, okay, no lengthy answers type questions, in 99% multiple choice questions only will be asked, but very easy concept. Let us move into the concept now. We have already discussed that when a beam of light passes through a lens, it gets deviated from its path. In terms of refraction of lenses, refraction of light through lenses we have discussed. The link is given in the description box, kindly check it out. So the deviation produced by the lens is expressed in terms of its power. A lens which produces more deviation has more power, okay, remember more deviation has more power. We define power of a lens like this. The deviation of the incident light ray produced by a lens and refraction through it is a measure of its power. And we know a thick lens, a lens which is having a surface of more curvature, which will have short focal length. By um, touching the lens only, if it is of convex lens, easily we can identify by touching the lens. Thick, if it is thick lens, which will have short focal length, we would have observed in the lab. And that light, um, that lens which will have thick curvature will deviate the light ray more, hence which will have more power, while a thin lens having less surface or less curvature which will have large focal length and it deviates the light ray less. So less it deviates the light ray, less is the power, hence the power of a lens is expressed in terms of the reciprocal of the focal length. So we write mathematical formula of power of a lens like this, power of a lens in D, D means diopter, which is equal to reciprocal of the focal length, 1 by focal length in meter. When we express the power of a lens in diopter, here the length also should be in meter. S a unit of power of lens is diopter, the symbol is D. A lens is of power 1 diopter if its focal length is 1 meter or 100 centimeter. But when you substitute this value for calculation and all, you must substitute in meter only. Okay. And you might have observed that while giving prescriptions to a patient, an optician does not quote the focal length actually, but he will quote the power of the lens. Okay. He may say power is plus 5, minus 5. Okay. So we, we define power of a lens is of 1 day of tray if its focal length is 1 meter. Okay. And depending on the direction in which a lens deviates the light ray, its power is decided whether it is positive or negative. Okay. If a lens deviates the light ray towards its center, its power is positive. And if a lens deviates the light ray away from the center, its power is negative. Okay. Don't get confused with the magnification, linear magnification of the lens. Here the power of a lens, simple if a light ray deviates the ray towards the center, power is positive. If it is away from the center, power is negative. Okay. For example, if focal length is given as 20 centimeter, if we need to calculate the power of a lens, we substitute as 1 by 0 0.2 meter and therefore we can write that this power is 5 diopter. We have substituted the conversion and all is shown here. We will be discussing about that later. And therefore, the power of a convex lens we write as plus 5d and power of a concave lens in this case is minus 5.0d we can write. Let us check out with an example numerical here. Actually for multiple choice only these kind of questions will be asked. A converging lens has its focal length 20 centimeter. Calculate the power of the lens. Okay, just now we saw that for the power of the lens 20 centimeter. So we have to write the given focal length f is equal to 20 centimeter 
and we have to convert that centimeter to meter and keep it ready 20 by 100 gives us 0.2 meter okay and what type of lens it is we have to identify they have given it is a converging lens we know that what type of lens it is converging lens is a convex lens and the formula to calculate power of a lens in dioptry is equal to 1 by focal length f in meter and substitute the value in meter 1 by 0 0.2 meter which gives us 5d dioptry since it is a convex lens sin is plus that's all very easy and in the multiple choice questions and all you don't need to write given and all this and all no need you can just directly you can calculate there only in the rough space just convert this centimeter to meter and then 1 by the focal length you can identify and put the sign the answer with the sign is necessary okay we shall move to another sum find the focal length of a lens of power minus 2.0 d what type of lens is this so here two things we have to find out that is focal length and type of lens what is given power of a lens is given as minus 2.0 d focal length f need to be find we have to find and type of lens also we have to find we know the formula to calculate power of a lens that p is equal to 1 by f focal length in meter and change f as subject to the formula f is equal to 1 by p and substitute for this value of p here 1 by minus 2 2.0 is 2 only so you can on simplifying this you get uh, answer as f is equal to minus 0 0.5 meter so focal length we got it as minus 0 point meter and since this focal length is having a negative sign the lens is concave as we discussed if the focal length is positive the type of lens is convex okay you remember this x form like this so you turn this you get plus and concave all negative sign c o you come you see you see another c here like this just remember concave lens have negative focal length okay so with this we have covered small concept from this i think there is a question in gpst or model question paper of biological signs actually there the answers given are not uh, much clear for the respective question okay later we will discuss about that keep preparing for your exams thank you for watching